weather. It's part of our everyday lives. State troopers sent in to rescue small children and teachers stranded in their Atlanta schools overnight. But how do we prepare for the unexpected? The technology we have here at JCNN is unprecedented for a high school weather report. This is what the pros use. JCNN uses GR Level 3, a state-of-the-art radar software enabling the weather team to track inside of the storm. We're seeing just a few of these showers move to the northeast. We're able to see hail inside of the storm. We're able to detect rotation and we're even able to track winter weather. All this live as it's These are the men and women that sit behind a computer for 12 hours a day answering your 911 calls. It's Chatcom 911, what's the address of your emergency? The Chattahoochee River 911 Authority, formerly known as Chatcom 911, is a private 911 call center that provides services to four cities, including Johns Creek, Sandy Springs, Dunwoody, and Brookhaven. Serving nearly 300,000 residents, Chatcom receives over 150,000 calls a year, including the call of a reported gunfire by Johns Creek High School earlier in the semester. TACCOM 911 Deputy Director of Operations Stephen Pierce explains what happens when a call of that nature comes in. Whenever there's an emergency that occurs at a high school, particularly Johns Creek High School, let's say your high school calls us and says that there's an emergency inside that school, we'll take that call and your school is going to go into a lot. It's every parent's worst nightmare, an active shooter at school. In this case, just a drill. But the goal? To make it as real and stressful as possible. Realistic makeup on kids, fire alarms, and heavy smoke. Officers rushing in, stepping over injured kids to apprehend the shooter as quickly as possible. You did this! With as many as 30,000 public and private schools in the United States, you may think the chances of a shooting happening at your school are very slim. But Forsyth County Sheriff Ron Freeman explains that school shootings can happen at any school. Fortunately, we don't live in a society where these things don't happen. It's all far too common. I wish that it wasn't and we see school The Johns Creek Fire Department puts on the Citizens Fire Academy yearly for Johns Creek citizens to experience the life of a firefighter. It's really a way to understand where our tax dollars are going to and uh, seeing what they do and have more respect for, for them and the job that they do with regards to protecting the citizens of Johns Creek. Running into a building with a big hose and putting out a fire may sound easy enough, but members of the Johns Creek Citizens Fire Academy, like Joe Rankenmeyer, found out that being a firefighter is harder than he thought. I have gained a new appreciation for firemen and what they do.
arrived on the uh, night of September 12th, 2001. Um, it's kind of surreal. We've all been there, stuck, waiting in traffic like this for miles and miles on end. But the city of Johns Creek is constantly working to improve congestion at intersections just like these. Traffic, it's a part of our everyday lives. As much as we would like for it to go away, it is a hard problem to solve. Compared to surrounding cities like Alpharetta, Johns Creek is rather small, but has a much larger amount of traffic coming through it. Johns Creek's Deputy Director of Public Works, Tom Udell, tells us how Johns Creek accumulates so much traffic. Johns Creek's kind of a crossroads. Um, people in Gwinnett County want to get to Alpharetta. People in Forsyth County want to go to Atlanta. Johns Creek News Now is Johns Creek High School's award-winning news program. JCNN is run entirely by students each day who work the various jobs of the show from directing to floor managing and producing the various segments aired each day. JCNN also hosts a variety of other things on the show, from live weather broadcasts to live interviews, all on its state-of-the-art set. All of this comes together in the control room, where the crew work together to produce the show, broadcasting the show live for both the school and online at jchsgtv.com.